I have to wear my glasses for this one. Yeah, I think you need to put on your explaining glasses because we're going to talk about Frequency Frenzy. And this guy right here, this is the champion right here. Chris, KC3PIB, has done all of the coding on this. You guys have played this once or twice before. If you haven't, we're going to go through how to make this stuff work real quick. You go to Frequency frenzy.live and and i'm talking in my own ear here hold on a second we can hear you you're good yeah Keep yeah going. i can also hear me I can, I can hear me like a couple seconds delayed like jim on stream the other day i'm gonna drop the link in the chat you go to frequency frenzy.live and oh look at that i don't know how i did that um up in the upper corner there is this thing called settings and you can go through all your settings first off you can make it dark mode if you if you're one of those dark mode people like me I'm dark. And then you can do uh, measuring units if you want it sensible or if you want it murka. You can pick your time zone, like, you know, the world's best time zone ever, GMT. We're going to leave that, that C word off of there. We don't talk about the C word. And then map projections, you want it to be, you know, flat earth or you want it to be flat earth or you want it to be, you can't even see these. Equal earth projection, Albers projection, Mercator projection, conic equal area projection. You can pick your own map display. But we've got to get down to the hmm. other part where it's in the it's in the help section i think it is the help section is where you want to go for setting up your software to communicate to the scoreboard and if you look down here at this bottom section it says enable logged contact adif broadcast and what this is going to do is it's going to send every contact you make if you've got your software set to report at the top where it says prompt me to log qso once you click that okay button it's going to shoot it up to the scoreboard, and you're going to get yourself a card out of the shoe. How many cards are in the shoe, Chris? Uh, 52. 52. So we're each dealing with our own deck of cards. We're, we're kind of playing cards with our own kids, with ourselves. That <laughs> is correct. We're still playing yeah. cards with ourselves, but that's all right. Yeah. It's still a little bit of a challenge. Yeah, so when you see everybody's got a hand of four aces, it's not because everybody's cheating. It's because everybody's cheating. Oh, I'm cheating. Totally. Yeah. So this is FrequencyFrenzy.live, which I'll post in the chat again. And uh, okay. at the top corner, there is the Help button, and that will give you the settings that you need Help. for your FT8 software. And if you're using the other softwares, we don't like to talk about them much, but there's JTDX. The Help is also out there for the same thing. It's in the, it's in the middle on the Reporting tab. And if you report your power and you click that Retain button, there might be a little tiny bit of a bonus for you if you report power. Don't know. You have to figure out the rules as we go. And then if you hit cancel on this log button when it pops up, so if you work the contact twice, for example, you just hit cancel, it won't log it twice, so there won't be a penalty. If you hit OK, then it will go ahead and send it up to us on the top side. So if we go back here, here's an example of the map. And right below the map, it's going to say the current sprint, which it looks like it started, hasn't it? Nope, not yet. We got nope. uh, six minutes and 43 so seconds. Oh, I see it. I was looking at the yeah. zeros. There yeah, we go. that was the last round. So that'll actually show the countdown, and we'll get a little progress bar as the sprint progresses. It gets to 100%. Okay. The sprint is over. So y'all got six minutes to get this thing started. So in the meantime, we want to give Chris a big shout-out and say thank you, Chris. Chris has worked very hard Thanks, on making this scoreboard work out for us, and uh, awesome hopefully y'all have some fun tonight. I think the last time we did this was over the holidays. Thanksgiving. Has it been that long? Yeah. Yeah, it's been since wow. Thanksgiving. Been a while. We run a few tests because there's a few new tricks uh, in what we're doing, but um, you know, uh, we'll see how everything goes here. I think everybody enjoy. But uh, um, I, we did create a rule section, and there was a lot of questions on why I was getting certain cards and all the rest of that. So in the rule section, we do have a little bit of a breakdown. Um, while there are some bonuses and things like that when we're playing cards, um, you know, we describe all the, the sections here that uh, the things that are required um uh in your contact but if you scroll down a little bit more um and i'm hoping this pops up for all to see on the stream because i know some of the things but if you roll over one of those areas this is showing you approximately percentages um oh, related yeah, to um what you're going to get related to a card based on distance now this is an exact it, it's a um kind of in the ballpark and we do shift these around a little bit based upon um you doing certain things in there but uh kind of gives you an idea of um, what the breakdown of, of how to get cards is. But the best so hand you, wins, right? It's the best, best poker hands, hand. Best poker hand wins. So yes, four twos is better than, you know, some other hands. So it's all about strategy at that point. You have to figure out what's going to, 
what's going to get you the cards that you think are going to work best for you. So remember when we told you we don't math on stream? This right here is a good example of why we don't math on stream. This is, <laughs> this is extremely complex, and Chris is smarter than all of us for being able to figure this stuff out. I don't know about all that. It's just uh, dice rolling in, as far as I'm concerned. But uh, yeah. this kind of gives you an idea how, how the breakdown goes. So um, helps with the strategy, I guess. Power bonuses, band bonuses, distance bonuses. And then the speed run is a different mode we have, more like uh, traditional points. Um, you know, that one could go longer, but uh, it is in there and natural. And we have some other gameplay that's going to be coming in the future. So. so Jason is asking, how many decks in the shoe? I asked that already, and it's just one. Just one for you and a totally different deck for me. One Don't for be trying every to steal one of your my friends. Cards. You ain't getting any of my cards. Man. I know some of these. Had... I know some of these guys can handle more than one deck, but a lot of times you're better off with just one deck in the in the situation. If you understand, multiple. I, decks I think I'm picking up what you're putting down. Yeah. So our friend Jim AJ nine FE is already trying to bribe the <laughs> the dealer here, and and we accept all bribes. And it works, Jim. Jim, thank you very Got much. It. We'll make sure to slide that extra Thanks, ace Jim. into your deck. Let me go Jim, make some changes it, in the code real quick. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> Re recompiling real fast all right thank you jim but uh <clears throat> so we got canadian joe asking if it's like ft8 off it is exactly like that but completely different but different exactly but totally three different. minutes 20 seconds to go Yes, you make contacts, you upload them to the scoreboard. The scoreboard magically gives you some random card that shows up on FrequencyFrenzy.live. And it will show up on the screen here, like Eric's hand, our, our buddy Hamstick Eric, Ham Radio Ohana on YouTube. He got a pair of queens, a 10, an 8, and a 7. And that was the winning hand the last time. A single pair is all it took to, to beat it. Oh, and wow. his pair beat our friend Nicholas Maslin. I almost said that backwards. Nicholas Maslin. Uh, the pair of queens beat the pair of sixes. I mean, this is standard, you know, five card draw rules here. So it's how it works. And you don't have to get all your cards to get on the scoreboard. Um, Colin here got on the scoreboard with just one card and he had a queen high. And so he beat the, the fifth place person to come in fourth place. And the fifth place person Ooh. didn't even draw a single card. So it didn't make it to the board. Got to make at least one contact. You got to try folks. Two minutes, 30 seconds to go. The minimum amount of flare does not work here. Right. So while we're talking about minimum amounts of flare, we released a new antenna, and three out of five of us are working that new antenna tonight, if I understand it. That's the Poseidon vertical. It's a 25-foot vertical with four radials and a fancy ballon that you get to wind yourself. It's Anand. a fantastic kit. Anand, sorry. Anand. It's a fantastic <laughs> kit that uh, you get to build yourself and customize in any way you see fit. Our buddy Ziggy that was on the show a couple of weeks ago, he made himself a fantastic version of this. You can get these things over at Coffee and Ham Radios, and you're going to see tonight in real time just how good this antenna is, because we're actually kind of surprised ourselves. I mean, yeah, we, we didn't do, think be it decent, would uh, but... be terrible, but uh, holy crap. We were expecting it to be a fun kit to build and to ex expand your knowledge of antenna building, but oh my, is it amazing? Yeah, and yeah. a good a good portable antenna, right? And it's just gone full, yeah. full stupid. It's awesome. Super this easy guy to put up. Won't shut up like about, about three it. minutes. That's right. I'm loving it. Now he is. One minute. I've seen seconds. him more on FT8 in the last week than I've seen him on FT8 in <laughs> three years. One minute, folks. Get your software set up and get ready to roll. David, thank you. David says, why would you be surprised? All your gear performs really well. And I I agree with you. Um, but this one performed better than we thought it would. That's the, the fun part about it. Yeah. Andy wants to know, did we get the payment? Andy, I will take a look. Uh, but I know you're good for it. So I'll go ahead and slide two extra aces in the deck for you. Or I thought he was ordering a side. I think he is. So I think that's what I he's looked, talking about. Did I not look up shipping for you the other day on that? Steve? You, you did. Yes, you did. did. But you you okay. ruined my joke. That's okay. Okay. Damn it, Jim. Ape ruined it first. Yes, I know. And then you doubled down. I'm just, that's just <laughs> exactly. Doctor. We are playing cards here, son. This is grown up. Exactly. Time. Exactly. All right. 15 seconds, folks. 15 seconds. Ladies Ken's, and Ken's gentlemen. Ken's on delay there. 31 seconds for Ken. Warm up your transmitters. 
So hopefully we have time for three rounds tonight, but this round starts in two, Uh-oh, one, Rolly's playing. go. You all are doomed. Oh, Rolly, yeah. Everything Rolly gets is going to be DX. We are going to die. Yes. <laughs> That's right. Once I saw that game over, you might as well fold up the tent now. Game over. All right. We are right. currently waiting for data. Who's going to be the first person hey, to Rolly. hit the scoreboard? <clears throat> Can we just say Rolly won and just drink beer and forget about all this? Uh, y'all can drink beer. You know, drink them if you got them. Smoke them if you got them, even. I got my Rolly, beer how right are you, here. man? Shoot. It's gonna take not waiting for data. You're waiting seconds. for points to come in, right? We're waiting for somebody to make the first contact, and it <clears> looks <throat> like it's Rodney Clark and Jason W5 IPA. We got a six and a nine. Look at how that works, folks. So you make a contact, you report to the scoreboard, and it shows up. AJ9FE5. You know, we got that ace in the that extra ace in the deck for you, Jim, but I don't know yep. that it's gonna show it's up on the first yet. draw. That would that would look a little sus, you know. I mean, yeah, we gotta try and be somewhat legit with the, the yeah. underhanded deck dealing. Oh Jim Perry with a three. <laughs> Paul Estes with a three. You guys are tied for last place. Yay! Uh, just ignore it. I am. It had a little countdown timer. I'm going away. Just don't pay any attention to me. Yep. Eric's the current leader with a nine of clubs. Well, would they be? Would that be a three-way tie right now with all them nines? Yeah, and what it it'll is, do it, is it'll, it'll take the longest distance contact as the tiebreaker. Uh -huh. Oh, there you go. I was going to say it was going to take the first one. Chris, our own Chris on stream here is on the board with a seven. Chris, I like how it's putting these names up here. Thank you for adding that. Yeah, this is awesome, dude. Yeah, a little improvements here and there, and we'll keep at it, man. And like I said, um, let's try to make this super fun for people. And Other Andy showed up on the, on the board. I see him there. He did. Ham Radio Wilderness Frank <clears throat> is on there. Look at other Andy flexing with his extra. E. <laughs> He's E rated. And y'all, I mean, you guys uh, understand what Chris did as far as I'm concerned is witchcraft. Voodoo. So you're always talking about developers. So what is that top one right there? That uh, K7 LAP. Is that is that who's in the, in the lead right now? No, that's, that's just, just showing you it'll swap through and show you random selections. Oh, but if you go gotcha. and select uh, any of the individual players down there, it'll actually bring those contacts. Um, Let me just find board. Jim Perry, Uncle Gene. Oh, Graybeard Pota is in the list. Where did he go? Uncle Jim's on page two. All right, you just passed me. Number six. Yeah. yeah. Number the 12. Refreshes. So you got a contact, a DX contact with HP 2AT. Looks like HP 2AT has got a basic license and it refreshed on me. And you went to the first page and I got to find you again. Because I just Keep... got another contact. There you go. With KO4 IOL, Jim's rocking 20 meters. He sure is. And then uh, 2,623 he... kilometer contact for that three. <clears> and he's going, full, he's going full 100 watts. Jim Maybe. is? Jim might be flexing on his flex. I don't no, know. Uh, the amp's not on. It gets too loud in here. But now that I picked old Jim off the list, Jim should be up here in the... Nope, I clicked him twice. Let me click him three times. A Jim so nice, you clicked me twice. I don't mean to be getting everybody dizzy. You are there. scrolling like a drunk monkey, son. Yeah, okay. I had to go down to click on you and then come back up to the map so we could see. I got to take my drama mean the way he's I rolling know, right? Around. I'm I'm feeling. I think we need to be, build a special interface for To just for <laughs> slowing down, <laughs> slow his <laughs> mouse <laughs> movement the down or something. The yeah. Something like He's no coffee for you, McGrain. I gotta slow him down to like fifty percent when I watch his videos so I can hear him. Well, you know, they say you should they should change your uh, your screen every four seconds so you don't have people at home with their short attention spans losing interest. What is that Panama you just got, Jim? Is that you on the no. screen? Yeah, it's Let's Jim see. on the screen. That was KO4 right. IOL. No. And HP2AT. 
So that was Panama, the HP contact. HP 2AT. I should be on the board now, I hope. I think that's Panama. It looked it like it. Canal-like, yeah. Now, see, if I wanted to flex, I'd get on remote ham radio and fire up one of those beast stations. Yes, that would definitely do it. Yes, and it would also, I'd have to get a third job and... So and somebody's got a couple of Japanese contacts in there. So this Probably is everybody. Trying. Yeah, it's somebody from Texas. I'm, oh, I'm Texas. Trying. I'm okay. trying. KI5YPR is making the reach out to GA land, Japan land. Hey, while we're on the stream, I want to ask this to everybody in the chat. Uh, Has anyone heard from T-Ray lately? Uh, that's true. I have not I've heard from T-Ray. He might be in county. In, he might be in, in county. Uh, well, I was wondering about that. Or one of his girlfriends shot him and took his money. I don't know. I just he hadn't been in a in a stream chat for a while. There's Ziggy in there. What's up, buddy? Yes, Frank. Ziggy. I knew somebody had asked it. I couldn't remember who. And Ziggy, we want Ziggy. I need. <laughs> data about your antenna performance. I want to oh, see that on a rig nice. expert or a nano, son. You want to share I mean, some it, pictures out there, Abe? Yeah, I'm working cool on it. Give me a minute. Chip chop, son. It's a live stream. Interstellar Starman said, this is so cool. You are correct. What's your call sign? Are you on the scoreboard? Let me see if I can find you. Ed's asking how you can fix your ALC if it's wobbling. So you need to check your Windows audio volume for that device and set it to probably like 50% and then change your power on WSJTX until that ALC is about maybe a quarter of the way engaged or less, depending on who you ask and what day it is. And if it's wobbling, I don't know what to tell you. Something's, something's askew. Mm -hmm. So we got Excuse Paul me. Estes with a full hand right now, a pair of threes, and he's oh, in Lee second place Japan. behind Go a pair ahead, of I'm fours. Sorry. Yeah, you see a pair of fours in there. I think Scout's correct. <clears throat> so, so that's what Ziggy did to the... Uh, we sent him an Apollo. Sweet. And that's that's what he did to it. And um, he, he basically wound thing. it he he needed more wire, so he wound it with some of the aerial wire. And he's got a four to one, a nine to one, and a sixteen to one on that thing. Also, he has got an SO two thirty nine connector on that thing. Mm -hmm. But uh, looks like a flock of seagulls with all them wing nuts up on there. So it, the the different um, points on the left side, those are just different taps on the toroid, right? So yes. he would just put his radial on whichever one he decides he needs for application, right? Correct. Could it be the same, or his uh, his radiator element, not radial. And then on the right side, it'd just be the radial field regardless, right? That wouldn't change. Yeah, and then he calls it the double trouble, where he's got dual counter poises at the, at the bottom. Okay. Mo is better. <clears throat> and then here's the, the, here's the hind end of this thing. I want to know if alcohol was involved in the manufacturing of this. Well, I was talking to him before, right before he did it, and he had to go to the dentist this morning. And he was telling me that he didn't want to go to the dentist hungover. He said he couldn't do that. And I was like, sure, you can, buddy. You know, because I want to bring out, I want people to realize their potential. But uh, he, he, I don't think he was drinking. Double nickel. Not good enough yet. Well, you're in second place there. Yeah, the guy who designed the system is in first place. Oh, oh. Not Jim's oh. winning. Oh. Three of a kind. Bob's your uncle. Good Jim. We got now, five minutes Chris, left to be three of a kind. Chris, how does, so if I, am I done getting cards now? Or yeah, that's will, it. Uh, you can't get any more. Well, you can keep making contacts. They're just not going to count for points. I'm not so going to get any more cards. Okay. Right. You got it. But you don't have to stop. You can keep playing. You're just not going to get any more cards. I think what we need to do is oh, I think man. one of the natural evolutions is probably allow people to sign up, right, with their call sign so that then we can do things like 
maybe we can draw another card or whatever. I just, I don't want to do that right now because there's really no way to know who's doing it. I don't want people messing with one another as we're playing. So. Right. Mm -hmm. I thought that was the case from the last time. I just wanted to make sure if yep. I kept going, I would accidentally get, you know, another four in there or a three and get rid of one of those and get a full boat. But a brother can dream. I'm about ready to move up. But you don't have to stop making contacts either. You can right. keep going the whole time, right? Oh, listen, between me and the primate, we have been melting our Poseidon <laughs> antennas. I get my fair share of FT8 in too. Don't worry about that. Did you? Oh, yeah. Did you? Eight. Ape, I think, was in the Miller the other night because he, he conned me into turning the amplifier on. And we we ran some high ran some power juice. tests. Right, we just high exerting power. some some watt privilege. We did. <laughs> we had the we had the toroid up to uh what hundred sixty? One hundred and sixty centigrade. So three hundred and eighty five ish degrees Fahrenheit. I thought there was going to be an adverse uh, effect of that, but there there wasn't. Well, I, I got to kind of wonder. I wonder where the melt point of the PA-12 is. Yeah, that's what I was thinking was probably going to go first. But, like, I even your counterpoise good. connection was, like, glowing. Oh, yeah. The whole thing was hot as a pistol from the bad side of town. And Lee's working on how many cards he has. Lee, if you check the scoreboard, you should, uh, you should see. I, I think you're number two there with five cards. You've got an ace, a king, a four, and a two. Pair of aces. Yeah, pair of aces. So I got yeah, this, I got this thing I've been playing around with. I don't know if you can see it, but it's an infrared multimeter. Let me embiggen you, son. Oh, somebody beat you to it. Okay. See that thing? I don't know if you can see it that well, but it's an infrared oh, we multimeter. We can see it. You're, you look white hot, ape. <clears throat> Thank you. Look, I, I, I look I look like Franco in the stream. This Frank, you got to get got to turn them lights down, bro. This is yeah, the one I was like uh, ghosting it. shooting the toroid with, and we I I posted some pictures in our private Discord. That toroid mm -hmm. was glowing. Chuck, this is pretty cool. It's what not we do, nearly Mike. as expensive as the stuff we had in the fire department, but it's pretty swank. Yeah, that stuff was outrageous. It's probably better. Cobain oh, yeah. is asking if he can just jump in, or you have to wait until the round is over. You can jump in at any time. You got two minutes and forty seconds to get the highest card in your single contact that you can make in two minutes and forty seconds. But you can jump in, and then you'll be ready and prepped for the next round. We're gonna do at least one more round, possibly two, if y'all can y'all can be good and not talk out of school here. <clears throat> Rolling must not be playing. He's jack not on the six. What have you got, Chuck? A pair of twos, a jack, and a six. Uh oh. Chuck Eric Schultz. How you doing, Chuck Schultz? A fellow Alabamian. I'm trying to get my Chuck Schultz. He's here. the one that showed up with us on uh, Montesano at uh, yes. Ham, Ham, at uh, Huntsville Ham Fest, and he cut yes. his hair. And we're like, "Who? Who are you?" Right, right. He's like, "Don't y'all recognize me?" No, no. As a matter of fact, we don't. Hey, you're creeping so me I'm out. Get my bro. fifth card. And this guy goes through here. I had a Japan and I had, uh, I think it was Peru or something. Balmer like Mike's yeah, in the house. A NW9F. That's a great, great beard poda. It is. Yeah. 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 Bro, you got to turn it up some, son. Oh, yeah. I think he bought a Poseidon, if I remember right. Awesome. Should have gotten it built. Here, he's napping on the job. Napping. That's right. K4 He's in Indiana. H &H. There still may be snow on the ground in Indiana at this time. K4 H and H is Lou, isn't it? Yes. I can my hand card didn't hit. Fifty mm -hmm. seconds left. Fifty seconds, and we'll go through the the order and see who all made it to the scoreboard. Here we go. Running QR. Card didn't right. didn't come up. Oh, There's had to wrong. tell us. The There's vegan of ham radio. Card didn't come up. Cucumbers, eat I think cucumbers. Running Chip's QR luck here. has changed this game. It, apparently, it's the Poseidon, Chris. It's like magic. Must be. Must be. How come my fifth card didn't come up? You haven't reported it to the scoreboard yet. Oh, um, yeah. Well, maybe I, maybe I did. Chip, I chop, did. Charlie. Twelve. 
Oh, I duplicated. That's why. Sorry. You don't have to apologize to us. That's fine. Yeah, so, Chris, if they start a QSO before the end of this timer countdown, which just ran out, that last QSO will finish up? Yeah, if they finish it up and get it in in short order about a minute after the sprint ends, it will count. But um, okay. most of the time, it'll get um, ignored. The it's the system is pretty strict. The QSOs need to fall within that window that we specified for start and end. And if they're beyond that, then uh, they won't count. Yeah, so Eric and Chuck are both complaining their their fourth card didn't show up. That was so. That one was thing I want to tell you, well, besides it being Chuck's fault, um, one thing that I want to tell you is Chuck's that this fault. is UDP, and for you internet nerds, that means that you have a probability, a very low probability in today's modern age, but a probability nonetheless that your contact will not make it to the scoreboard, and that's just part of the fun. Everybody has that same amount of probability. UDP means that there's no error correction or resending. They just your computer sends the data to us and <clears throat> fire, doesn't fire care if we get it or not. Uh, yeah. It's like a text message over the internet. You just blast it, fire and forget. And, and right. duplicates won't go up, guys. Pretty sure. All right. So <laughs> keep, Rick. keep everything Rick rolling, Rick. Thank you very much. Thanks, New Rick. member, Rick. Thank you. Let me uh, appropriately thank Rick. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go through the scoreboard here real quick, but keep your transmitters going. We have another sprint that's coming up. If you're looking at your own scoreboard, you'll be able to tell when that starts. We got Jim Perry in the lead on the Poseidon. A triple five, a four, yeah. and a three. He's a winner could, after all. You could have had a full house with three of a kind and a pair there. And then our, our buddy Lee came in second with a pair of aces. He's flying American Airlines tonight. We got KC3 PIB, your scoreboard master with a pair of sevens. Other Andy with a pair of fours. And he's tied with James, AJ9FE with a pair of fours. James, we did slip the extra ace in your deck. You just, you know, didn't draw it. I'm didn't sorry about that. And somehow that's how them things work. Prep Ham Paul with a pair of threes. Chuck Thompson, our buddy Chuck here on stream with a pair of twos. Our, our friend Balmer Mike. Mike Azzarello Mike. with a pair of twos. And then Charles Schultz <laughs> with a runt, ace high. And Rod Clark with a runt, king, queen high. Not that it matters, but, you know, runts are runts. Back to the top of the second page here. W5 IPA Jason. We got Colin Walker, M7 TFT. We got Lewis West, K4 H&H &H from Hiking and Hammond. And 7 LPK Eric Randberg. We got KG6 NLW, that's Ham Radio Wilderness with Frank. We got K0WAV, Scott Hawes, N7ABV, blood alcohol content, alcohol by volume there. <laughs> Steven Cyphers, he knows the secrets. Tim Davis, NW9F, that's Graybeard Poda. Tim Jordan A. Goodyear, KI5JMG, I believe he's the man that made it to Japan. Our buddy Dean, KQ4ADJ. Last page. We'll go from the bottom up because the bottom shows up first. Oh, there's only two of you. BK2 HTV Glenn, Ham Radio from uh, Down Under, and K5 KR5 Triple E Randall, rounding out the bottom of the pack there. And we have one minute 31 seconds to go before our next sprint takes off. Are He's, work bands disabled? Are uh, work, are work bands scoring for this? Yeah, the work bands are disabled, and if there was any yep. errors or anybody made any contacts down towards the bottom, there would be a sprint error section. Only if yeah, I saw that occurred, um, and it'll appear down there. But um, just want to remind people when you're setting it up, remember you're not setting it up like you are grid master or grid. Ooh, tracker, look at all them works, right? Um, you're not setting it up like grid tracker. You're setting it up with that secondary UDP. So go take a look in the help section. And review where you're putting it in because it looks like some people have it set up like they're sending us data um, right out of WSJTX uh, like Grid Tracker. So just make sure you have the settings right. Um, Want to make sure you're getting your cards on the scoreboard. So it's that second option, not the first one. There it looks is. like Jason was on the work bands. That's what you get, son. <laughs> not not me. I learned my lesson the last time. So apparently we've decided this actually is officially a contest. It does have a defined <laughs> start and end period. And you are supposed to make as many contacts as possible to get your hand. Well, I guess you're supposed to make five contacts five. at least in this version of the game. 
we do have a couple other versions. I believe you have a bingo version coming up, don't you? 12 yeah, seconds. Yeah, that's going to be the next one that comes out. So we'll have a five by five grid. Each grid will contain something that you have to do, make a contact here, there, or over certain anyway. distances or on certain bands. And um, well, it'll be like a bingo card for folks. And, you know, we get them horizontally or vertically or at a diagonal. Um, that person will be the winner. So that's something that's in progress and we'll continue to go. Cool. So nice. And we are going. All right. Start your transmitters, folks. Kick the tires and light the fires. Whoa. Scout wants to know if there's going to be a go fish version. <laughs> we should, <laughs> right? <laughs> I feel the need, the need for speed. Well, I think it was somebody had a good idea for like a conquer, conquer the, uh, the planet or, uh, uh, you know, uh, king of the hill kind of game as well. Yes. It yeah, mine did either, Ronnie. Coming to a live stream near you, the five-hour FT8 contest. Channel 11 was banging. I don't know if it was a five-hour FT8. Even if it wasn't a stream, I'd probably still do it because I'm going to do FT8 anyway. So why not do something in addition, right? You know? Right. Rev it up your engines. Oh, we got a contact. Cody. Cody Isham, first person on the scoreboard, followed by Prep Ham Paul. Look at Chuck with his glasses on. You know he means business now. Serious. Chuck got a serious face on. He's serious. got his wall green. His, his, reader screen, his screens are his screen is small, man. Oh, Andy Moran's in the first place. Look at that. Go ace. Aces. Now, if we Ball duplicate, I, I feel this is probably a stupid question, but if I get contacts with the same people I got last time, this whole thing just reset and that yeah absolutely so it only does it per round okay. so you can't make yeah. the same contact with the same you uh, same station on the same band in a given round gotcha you can make a contact with them on two different bands if that's what you want to do but yeah glenn it's taking the names off of qrz did you want to change glennifer back to just glenn <laughs> see what i did there i see what you did there i don't even remember what it said Oh. Now, what are, you, what are your strategies? If they don't answer in two or three returns, I usually uh, just terminate with prejudice. Oh, two or three, man. You're, you're giving them too much chance. Okay. See, so you're like hunting and pecking. I would just call CQ. Well, I am calling CQ, but if they answer me and then don't come back again, it's like, okay, come on, son. I got, I'm on a timetable here. Well, let, let's simmer down a little bit, Tiger Blood. Maybe yeah, it's that attitude on. is slowing I'm you down. On. Well, I mean, moving you won on. last time. I don't know why you're asking about strategy. Right, and he's getting all festered. Look at him. I mean, there's a famous movie quote, losers always whine about their best. If you ain't first, you last. I'm just saying. But I, I can't really say the rest of that quote. If you ain't first, you last. I'm jacked up like a spider monkey on Mountain Dew. Get me off the full screen. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Hi there. I don't know what I'm doing. Kathy, actually, yeah, but, you, but you're, you're doing it well. Mute yourself, because I'm coming home. <laughs> Y'all missed it on Frank's stream earlier. It got called out by the old lady. You had to go I off did. stream for a minute. Carla was the prom queen. That's right, Eric. Eric got the reference. I knew I could count on hamstick, Eric. That old hamstick. Mm -hmm. Hamstick. He knows a few things. We need to get him back on again. That man has got some serious antennas. Yeah. we got on here see now now glenn's making me want to go check and see what his name is when he shows up on the scoreboard yeah i'm wondering and what the same now that he knows that his government name's on here he don't want to play this round and i'm stuck on these twos i'm trying some uh pounce this time last time i just kept calling cq I mean, you got to weigh that probability factor. Your, your longer contacts and your power levels get you better chances of getting better cards. However, you have to complete the contact. And yeah. that's only 50% right. you. I got to be a little more careful this time and not duplicate. 
Surprised By the way, that was my first you. ever FT8 win in any non-contest FT8 that we've done on YouTube. And you know what, guys? He wound days. his own tour right this time, too. I did. All right, so while we've got some lull between the beginning and the end of the sprint, I wanted to talk a little bit about ALC with everybody. This is your oh typical boy. audio sine wave. We're going to be death by PowerPoint here for a couple of seconds. Oh and you can see how it's all nice and, and curvy and just the way we like it because we like it when it's curvy like that. When you start adding in too much volume from your computer to your radio, you're basically shouting at your radio. Your radio has this built-in automatic level control, ALC circuit, that will clip the top off of your signal. Look at that. And that's not a good thing because mm. you're losing this mm. data at the top of the peak here and you're losing the data at the bottom of the peak here. And it depends on which flavor of radio you're running. If you're running a Zygu product, you want to see 100 ALC because their meter goes backwards. If you're running an ICOM product, you want to see zero ALC. Some people put just a touch in there so they can see that it's actually, you know, not no, not no signal at all getting to the radio. And if you watch on your power meter, you'll actually see that as you turn the volume down on your computer, your power output on your radio will go back up as you're getting a full signal out. And what's happening is, is you're missing, you know, every third character that you send. I'm, I'm exaggerating here, but you're, you're missing quite a bit of a, of a beat of your signal that's going out mm. when you do this. Well, see, like you can have that ALC creep up a little bit until your radio starts to fold back. That's when you right. want to, that's when you start to have, and actually the radio folds back. So it stops the clipping, right? Um, but it, it's definitely an issue. What? Um, and then, go ahead, Steve. I was going to say the exact opposite of ALC is what's called AGC, automatic gain control, and that stops your radio from shouting at your computer, which then would harsh your decodes on the other side. So you want to watch both of those. The other thing, um, I got two things. Uh, we do have a question that I want to pop up for you and Chris, probably Chris. The other thing that will screw you up, and it's a subtle mistake to make, is if you've played around with all your uh, especially on Yesus, your parametric equalization stuff, and you start screwing with the audio stream, um, that can cause problems. Well, so when you when you drive compression on your radio and you're using single sideband, it's compressing your signal so you can get more bandwidth out, and you yep. get you get more power, right? Because you're compressing yeah, your signal. That's, it's light. That's going like that. That's compressing <laughs> yeah. your signal into that window. But like an but like an ICOM seventy three hundred will turn off compression automatically when you go into digital modes. Yep. But the parametric equalization that uh, Jim's talking about does not. The other one is if you if you pipe in your sound through any type of mixer where you have any kind of equalization going on in that, it's a problem. Yep. Yeah. And FYI, the flex is the same way because you can turn on. TX or RX equalization, and you need to have it off because it will dork up FT8. I mean, you might get some contacts to work, so I'm sure somebody in the chat's going to go, oh, I had it on and I made contacts. Turn it off, you get more. Yeah, Ronnie's saying that uh, your notch filter can mess it up too. Sure yes. can. Yep. And the yeah. other one is is that the bandwidth of your filter. So like the FT8 is on like, was it th it's th it's 3.1 kilohertz? Mm -hmm. So if you have a f your filter set for like SSB, like I set mine at uh, 2.7. And if you have it set too low like that, you're not going to be able to hear the entire. So somebody might re be responding to you, but their TX frequency is outside your filter bandwidth. Yep. And you're screwed, son. Yep. Um, so the comment we had, where did that go? There it is. Chris Bricker. So this game looks like it rewires rewards high watt ft8 i don't think Chris, that's true i don't we're not doing that really are we no I actually so. you get a you, you'll get penalized anything over 100 watts so really yeah. the ideal case would be long distance dx running qrp but how does it know you're doing 100 watts like if you well, run it's scouts on your self-reporting right? I mean, ham, hams on yeah so right you know how hams are about that stuff and if you don't report we consider you qro so it's, it's kind of on your behalf to report but you know benefit would be qrp long distance would be the, your best chances to uh, get high cards i mean and other than having your name and lights on the stream if you got a cheat to get your name up there at the top then you're a dork 
you're a sad ham. I mean, I'm just straight up saying. Now, we don't know if the code has become sentient and then has injected its own rule set in there, right? I mean, that may have happened, but. <laughs> March 20 or March th- uh, 21st, 2024, <laughs> Skynet becomes aware, right? Right. <laughs> right. Yeah, that already happened. Yeah. The fun thing here is, though, you know, it gives it a little uh, random chance. It's not just distance. It's not just power. It's a mix of all those things. So there is strategy. I mean, maybe QRO is the way to go mm-hmm. and, you know, you, you find the right mix. But I, I, I think um, we've yet to figure out what the magical mix for high cards is. So. My buddy Ron was talking about the auto notch filter on your radio. What that does is that takes the highest power signal in the current pass band and the current spot that you can see on your waterfall. If you had a waterfall, it actually cancels out that part of the signal. Somebody you want you can to say that? To. You can say that again, T.O. You can say that again. Somebody sure. notch T.O. <laughs> he turned his A and Took him right out. No, he's gone. It's filter. Perfect example. <laughs> <laughs> it's raining here. Starlink and rain doesn't work very well. Mm. Yeah, I think we got rain coming. I think we're back into the rain day. here pretty soon. <clears throat> so right now the hand to beat is Cody with a three of a kind hand. Holy cow. And we got a couple people with a pair of jacks. Looks like Lee has two pair there. Pair of jacks. Yeah, Lee's. Cody's the hand to beat. So if my notch filter explanation didn't make it through, somebody else take it over. I think you did it. All right. But somebody said it in the chat. The key to winning with FT8 is to turn all the filters off. FT8 is smart enough to, to work without any filters at all. Yep. Run run naked. Okay. So that's Tovania in the first place. place. Nice. Moving on. Y'all seem a little lacking on your witty banter tonight. Maybe we should talk about why the talk pod is the best radio on the planet. <laughs> why, is it, why is it the best? I think it's the best me. if it's the only radio on the planet. Yeah, I'm not so impressed, but we could see you're impressed, man. Don't say that. You I've could got. see it. Oh, this it's is clean the for, the, for the dollars. I'm not complaining. This is the second second or third gen a 36 plus gmrs which is a little sketch that they sell this as gmrs in the listing and not ham so it's not part 97 certified and i've talked to the talk pod guy a little bit in email a couple times and he did not he did not out and out say it but he he did out and out ask me well how would we test this we can't afford a whole lot of equipment i'm like you're selling radios where you get and a then, tiny SA for a hundred bucks. Right. I mean, talk to smoke and ape. Well, what's and, crazy about it is, is that radio companies will send me a radio and ask me to test it. And if they see my channel at all, they'll know that I test them for harmonics. Right. And so they, they must not look at that. They must say, Oh, this person has a certain uh, subscriber count or something. So let's send him a radio. And then they, they send it and then I test it harmonically. And then they get upset at me for doing that. And then the butt hurt ensues. But I'm like, well, that's got- what I do on my channel. Why would I not do that for yours? Because you gave me a thirty-five dollar radio that right. I'm not that I'm all of a sudden not going to actually test it, and they get upset. Well, the the sense that I got from the talk pod people, and he didn't flat out say this, but it sounded like because I mentioned it in my email to him, and he did not deny it that. 
Hawk Pod is not making these radios. They're right. buying a, a chassis, for want of a better word, or I guess putting a chassis on somebody else's guts. And then putting so, a sticker on it. Yeah. And I don't, I don't think they have any real control over the innards of the radio. So, I mean, I told him, I'm sorry, dude, but it's, you know, I said, it doesn't suck as bad as the first one, but it still sucks. And that's the end of that round. It is over. Let's take a look at who our winners are. Kovanye, Kovane, Cody Isham with three of a kind, eights. We got Lee and three eights. Oh, this is, oh, two pair. Oh, we got two sets of two pair. We got a, a Jack Sevens, and then we got Steven Cypress. So Lee, Lee came in with Jacks and Sevens, and Steven came in with Eights and Fives. And then James had a pair of Jacks, which just doesn't cut it when you got two pair above you. Our buddy Liberty Cave has a pair of Nines. Our buddy Baltimore Mike has a pair of Sevens. Eric Randberg with a pair of Fours. Frank Ham Radio Wilderness with a pair of Threes. It's almost like these things are sorted. Randall with a pair of Twos. And then Andy with a runt ace high. And then I guess that means nobody else did that good of a job. But we had a lot more people playing this round. And the next round starts in three minutes. So keep up, keep everything ready and rolling. We got Colin, M7TFT, Kenneth Roberts, straight WV8, going. EER, Paul hmm. Estes, Prepham Paul, Probably right K5VOP, Jason Mary, W5IPA, Daniel Martin, W1BUS. Hey, Dan. K7LAP, Rod Klar, K, K4H&H, Lewis, West, or our buddy Lou from Hiking and Hammond. And we got Grayman Poda, Tim Davis, and Preston Studeville, W5KEI. Welcome, Preston. Stacy Kirkpatrick, KB7YS. Welcome, Stacy. Oh, Chuck's at the bottom of the list. Jim's at the bottom of the list. Yeah. I'm Chuck Schultz. Zachary Larson, Scott Halls, Jim Perry, Dean Hintz, Jeffrey Darby, Jason Tetlow, Donald Weeks. That's N5 SKT, Don. Don was asking me about how Starlink performs. Don, I actually just had to switch <clears> off of Starlink and go to cellular. So that's how it's performing here tonight in the rain. He's I forgot to tell you chat. about weather. He must be working hard. He's, he's just randomly playing FD8 and has been reporting to the scoreboard ever since last Thanksgiving. <laughs> Chris, 29th place. Chris, you, you should know better how to cheat the scoreboard. Chuck in 30th place. And then Gordon, Jordan Goodyear. I was going to say Gordon Goodyear, but that would be wrong. With a single card drawn in this round. There you go, folks. Hey, Dan. Oh, yeah, right. Lou, I kind of whiffed at that one, too. I didn't get very many. Where are the errors? Errors. Prep Ham Paul there at the bottom of the page. If you scroll all the way down, it says sprint errors. The RST scent field was missing from the record or contained invalid data. So oh your boy. signal report was invalid. And then we had uh, K0WAV on the work bands and making a second contact on the work bands. So there you go. Work not. Shame. 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 worked. Shame. That's right. Hey, it says there's two streams. Mm. What's up with that? Two We're what? on the other channel, too. We're, there's actually three streams. We're on Twitter. We're on FrequencyFrenzy.live. And uh, we are on Coffee and Ham Radios. And we've increased by one subscriber over on Frequency Frenzy. Two subscribers on Frequency Frenzy. I did oh, not know. Oh, we subscribe. A handful, yeah. <clears throat> there we are. Let me check the... And that chat will show up in our StreamYard chat. And then you can chat back. That's me sending one as a frequency frenzy. So we have about <clears throat> five tumblers left in the store of the black <clears throat> model of tumbler. So if you want one, you need to pull the trigger. If you order Today, it will go out Saturday because I probably ain't going to pack any tumblers up after the show tonight. You got a whole day of slacking ahead of you packs. tomorrow. 
Don's asking about the pink ones. It doesn't look like we're going to have pink ones anytime we, soon. We're doing be no pink ones, Don. We're doing pre-orders for pink ones, and once we reach the threshold, then we'll we'll buy them all and send them out to everybody that pre-ordered. Because <laughs> Jim doesn't want to sit on a case of pink tumblers and only sell two. Yep. Don't blame Jim. Jim is not the only one. It's actually a toss-up lately. Who's been more sour in the chat? If it's been Jim or if it's been Abe? Hey, I was Checking all out. about buying the pink ones. You Chuck and I not. were laughing about it. Bull crap. I said, let's go. I said, they'll sell. And you're like, they will not. And I said, they what? will sooner or later. What? Son, that you need to right put now. down your, you need to puff and pass. Uh, no, 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 son. Will you go get your new port? Because pass. I was 100% fine <laughs> with getting them. Settle down. And, settle down. And you're like, I don't have space. No, I didn't say that. I said, I well, don't want to. Final round has started. And Andy and is my already life. on the board. We ain't going to yeah, sell almost, 30 pink I almost screwed up. I almost went work, man. So Chris Rowley's asking a question. Ones, if which if Rowley was to operate Fox and Hound mode, would he be able to get the extra contacts? You know, that's a good question. I've never tried it, so try it out. Rowley, try it. Happens. Try it. If, if you get try five it. cards on the on the board in one minute, 15 seconds, you win. I'm FT4 right now myself, so. I say Andy was up there with a, with a two. I didn't know we'd even restarted because I was busy defending my honor about the pink ones. <laughs> Listen, I was one hundred percent fine with the pink ones. But we can order them right now. Quick, hmm. Jim, do it. Do it up. Order them. Look at that look. <laughs> the, the grousing about the pink ones was me and Ape not for telling me. Steve. It no, wasn't... it was me and Ape telling Steve no. No, it was not. You're, you're, Chuck you're was just sad because Daddy and Daddy were fussing. We have the receipts yeah. and the thing. I was fine with it because I think that they. I do think that people buy the pink ones. Give us a one in the chat if you'd buy a pink tumbler from us, which is a non-binding resolution. Yeah. It like is. You know, you're not. You're not committing. We just want to know if you're even thinking about it. For real, really, would you buy a pink one? And understand, we're not donating the money to save the tatas.org. That's a real thing, by the way. It is, yeah. You it's were just selling your pink tumblers. So these don't actually... See, look, look at all them ones in there, son. ...support breast cancer. You put one in. He did. He wants well, one. There's still a lot of them. Yeah, he's, he's got daughters. <laughs> right. Maybe he'll get his back. Yeah. <laughs> Jim already doubled Jim down. Look at this. Sent money for yeah. <laughs> yeah, Jim. That's right. See, look at this. All these people are saying they they would they would get them. I don't, I don't know. Look at this. <clears throat> pink pink would want a pink one. That's true. I I had her counted. I, I I know of at least three females that have reached out to me and said they want a pink one, and pink was one of the ones that wanted a pink one. Mm -hmm. I th I think we need to do it. How many are in the in the crate? For the fifty seventh time, there's thirty of them. Hey, Jeez, I'm getting snappy. That's. It's one more than twenty nine right. eight. Yeah, see, he's getting all salty pants. I'm not getting salty. If that's put what a, you guys put a, decide, put a two if, in the chat. If the three of y'all decide getting, you, you want to get he's, pink tumblers, if we'll you think order he's pink being tumblers. Salty, put a two in chat, and and they will sit here gathering dust. I guarantee it. I will look be all, look at all the pink tumblers the three years from now because they're in the damn way. <laughs> I think that's a loaded question, Ape. <laughs> it's always like, yeah, but he's normally salty. <laughs> Where did it go? It's this one. They were they were scrolling by so fast I couldn't even click on Ron's. <laughs> right, right. The, listen, Ron? these some bitches are embellishing this whole thing, and Primate was like, ah, oh, we don't need no pink tumblers. Can we just that's buy not one true. or two? That's not that's not I'm true. Like, at yeah, all. if you want to spend forty dollars a piece getting them customized, sure you can. There she is, the woman of the hour. But you ain't gonna sell thirty of them, I guarantee it. We all have ones in there. They're good. They'll be gone before you know it. That's really a kind of an ambiguous statement. What is before you know it? It, it means sooner rather than la latter. Listen, there's be three. It's three to one. If y'all want them, we'll order them. That'd be funny if we had 30 of them sold out on day one. I have exactly one vote in this, and I said, no, you ain't going to sell them. Y'all want to get them? We'll order them tomorrow. 
There you go. So so Saturday. Don't don't make this out like I'm the only one holding us back from selling pink tumblers because that's well, what me. You, you're trying to you're trying to implicate no, me trying. in your in your malfeasance. <clears throat> <laughs> both this is of better us, than the talk pod discussion. Both of us yeah. were hating on pink tumblers. Not me. To sell them. Not me. Uh, your wife must be in the room watching you right now. That's why you're. <laughs> nope. She was earlier. Well, you're trying to pull the shaggy defense. Wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it was oh, that shaggy. My hands are clean on this deal. Some of your hands ain't been clean since Don, you you're in last grade. place, man. Ham harder, Don. Yeah, Don. So I haven't even been playing because I've been arguing about pink tumblers. Priorities, Jim. That's right. I know. Oh, there's another one. Another female that wants one. See? Don't care. Yeah, we're up to four. <laughs> Again, there's four of almost, us. If they're almost done, we man. Pink tumblers, then we'll sell them. Frank, I don't even have a pink shirt. Ron, right? Do I have to turn this stream around? Settle down. <laughs> they want to know why the gym has slow down. She'd take off a tennis shoe and beat our asses from the driver's seat while we were going down the road. Ten minutes to go. Five minutes left on the stream. I don't know how this is going to work. <laughs> we'll have to go five minutes over. Looks like old Liberty Cave's not doing so good in there. He should have got himself aside. Right? How about camo? Chris, we have a limited amount of colors, and some of them are not very good. So even though there's like 10 color choices available, like four of them are good, and one of the four is pink. And we've already sold the black and the green and the blue you get yeah, pink right. i'll buy two of them one for the wife one for the daughter how about that? see doubling nice. down there i again i don't care we'll order them tomorrow this is not the discussion we had y'all are pulling a bunch of bullshit listen you can rewind <laughs> before re the show. rewind the chat <laughs> yeah scroll up it's still there <laughs> you, you, they're acting like i'm the one that kiboshed the pink that's not the case i don't think we'll sell 30 of them I got one vote, and there's my vote. I don't care what we do. If we decide we're going to do it, we'll sell. I didn't. Sell I didn't move that screen. Up. I'm looking at it right now, and it says, "FEP Labs." I am a nope on the pink tumblers. Yes, you haven't that's sold out I of said. black. I bet money will be sitting on the case of pink tumblers. And then right after that, I said, "I say get a case of the pink." Hmm. Get a case mm. of the pink. I. Right. I'd like a case of the pink. Was that my outside voice? That was. It was. Christine must not be in earshot of you. <laughs> yeah, she is. Uh, she just probably eye rolled you, though. She's heard it before. I had a really good contact on 12 meters. So what's the uh, the green and the blue for Chris? FT4 versus FT8. If you hover over that, it should uh, let you know the number of contacts. Oh, tool tips. FT4 12, FT8 19. Nice. We're at 50 I should have known. Time. I should have known. Come on, dude. Let's, end. Let's finish this. Come on. And most people are running 100 watts. We got 24 QSOs at, at 51 to 100 watts, which is also unspecified wattage. And then we have 22 Q, so somewhere between 11 and 50. And this is self-reporting on your honor. And then we only have three people, three Q, so's made at five watts, five to 10 And that's watts. why QRP sucks. So I thought you were saying that unspecified was treated as QRO, but you it still report it differently? We report it as unspecified, but uh, as far as scoring is concerned, it's considered okay. QRO. Okay. So, so I was mm. I was wrong. I if, it, it. if it's unspecified, you're making things a little more difficult on yourself. Especially if you're operating barefoot or less. Prep Ham Paul's at nine watts. He's given it all nine watts. I've given it all I can get. Six minutes to win, folks. Six Gotta say to that with a Scottish accent, Chuck. Yeah. I'm giving her all she's got. I, I've given <laughs> all she's got, Captain. That's it. I'm just a doctor. Brian, I've, I've heard this well, saying before, guy. Brian. Let's, let's get this guy right here. Let's get him. PY2MIG. Bryant wants a 40-ounce pink tumbler. Not only does he want a tumbler, he wants a bigger one. 
Well, hold on a second. Mm-hmm. I did say no to pre-orders. I did say no pre-orders because yes, I don't want to do. be responsible. Did you, I, said, I don't want to be responsible for any money up front. That's right. And Jim said that's the only way I'll go. That's what that's right. Again, that's he one vote. <laughs> one vote. That's it. Michael KD eight G I J is asking, does contact have any bearing on what cards are drawn or is the draw random? So yes is the answer to both of those questions. Take it away, Chris. Yeah, it certainly is. There is a built of randomness to it, but it's based on distance, uh, band, and power. And so we can shift those probabilities around a little bit uh, depending on those things. Trying to find that. There it is. Right there is the, the chart. And this is on the rules page. You can see the chart of your probability of getting a card at your... At your, I guess it's your distance levels. Correct. And there's mm. 13 cards of each type in the deck, 52 cards total. So that's why the probabilities are all weird. 15.38% mm. chance of getting a two on a short distance contact. Brian wants to know if the pink tumblers are going to be 40 ounce. The colors change when you change sizes too. The 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 choices of colors is different. What are we getting now? Three twos? Thirty-two, yep. Triple deuce. Three twos. Three twos. Richard's asking if there's any ideas why he's not registering. Richard, if you go to the settings at the top of the page. No, if you go to help at the top of the page, I'm sorry. It will give you some information on configuring. And what you need to be aware of is this setting here at the bottom, secondary UDP server. Crap card. It's like it's like playing real cards, Chuck. Yeah. I should have Kathy coming in here and picking people. She's good at cards. Yeah. Maybe we'll do that in the next one. Let's see if that guy. I don't think I got that guy yet. Oh, I did. Damn. Oh, the heat just kicked on. It's getting cold in here. Close the window. Make sure you check the box. That's right, Ham, till it hurts. There's a little box that says to actually do the thing. You can fill it out, but not check it. Yeah, you got to check that box, son. Two minutes and 40 some seconds. Yeah, we got a contact into China. That's got to be Mr. Glenn. I was getting China last night. What band was that? K two H T V. Yeah. Oh, this guy just went way distance on me here. What's, what's TI? Boys for? arguing about this time. If we only ship to BK land, David, we do ship, but the cost of the shipping is greater than the cost of the tumbler. You're so looking at you yeah. like to, we can do it. Eight to thirty-five dollars, David. To ship there. Yeah. Mm. And well, we sent a, uh, a tumbler. We sent a side over there. How much did that cost? Thirty-three dollars or something like that. Thirty-five. Get Twenty-eight. You. I don't remember. It was over 25 bucks. And David, if you if you want one, then you just email us at coffee and ham radios at gmail.com because yeah. we'll have to do we have to do it manually. Yep. No, the site will not allow you to purchase. You gotta you gotta email us and we'll negotiate. We'll sit down across site. the table in a dark room. Right. You tell me that you want one of these antennas, but you're trying to cheat at poker. (laughs) I would be happier with the randomness if we could try to improve our hands with additional contacts. But I mean, what what casino table do you stand up at that lets you draw more cards after the hand is full? Well, if you're playing five card draw. Right. This is basically stud. I've stud. 
So Chris is asking, does POTA count for extra points? I don't believe we're doing any extra bonus points, are we, Chris? Not in this one, no, but uh, we do have that ability. We do also have the ability to understand the license class of the station you made a contact with, so we can do things like bonuses for real tech, um, those sorts oh, of nice. things. Um, so we'll adjust these rules as time moves on. Again, it's we're working out some of the kinks. We're getting things improved, adding new features in, and we'll continue to do that. And you know, we can have all kinds of things in the future. So. 15 seconds. So at this point, your strategy should be just to hold fast on that guy and hope he replies back. Because mm -hmm. you can't start a new contact that may actually And for what it's worth, right. it's not uh it's not just VK land. We anything that's not United States is handled manually, so just email. Canada's it. pretty bad on shipping too, right? Yes, they're not much cheaper than sending it to Australia. These British colonies, Canada, Australia, I mean they Right, the Commonwealth territories, yeah, right. <laughs> they really get you, yeah. So K seven FC Zach has one with a three of a kind. I don't know what I was trying to say. Triple eight, three of a kind. That's the second that, triple eight. It is, and that triple eight three of a kind beats the triple two three of a kind. And we got two pair from Gray Man Poda, pair of sevens, pair of sixes. We got Jason with a pair of fives. We got Stacy with a pair of tens. Jason's got a beats... pair of fours, too. Oh, he does. Two pair. You're right. Pair of fives, pair of fours, which does not beat pair of seven, pair of six. And uh, Stacy's pair of tens beats Travis's pair of tens. Probably because Travis never finished his hand. Come on, Travis. Kenneth James, with a pair man. of tens beats James with a pair of tens, which beats Norm. Welcome, Norm. Good to see you again with a pair of nines, which beats Jason with a pair of eights. And who else do we have on the board here? Who, who showed up for work today? Prep Ham Paul, Eric Randberg, Jim Perry at 13th place, beating mm -hmm. out Hamstick Eric at 14th. Wow, Lee wow. McCrocklin, our buddy Lee in 15th, Colin in 16th, Preston's in 17th, Glenn VK2HTV in 18th, our buddy Covain. 19th. I know I'm pronouncing that wrong. It's, it's just funny that way because I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> or maybe that is right. I still don't know. We talked about this like a, like two years ago, man. I, it's Covanye. Covanye. Right? Got to add that little twist on it. Give it that sizzle. Chuck Schultz in 20th place. We got four pages of players here, folks. What do we got? Rod Clar, Stephen Cyphers, Frank Christ, or is it Frank? It's Christ, Frank. Richard McNamara, Christopher Anderson, Jeffrey Darby, John Forrest, Don Weeks, Chuck Thompson. Last page. Last page is Paul I saw, Reedy. Saw Quirky James in there too. Scott Halls, Andy Moran, Russell Brown, Randall Rash, David Klein, Lou West, James Hannibal. That's the quirky man. Joseph Harris. 39 players this time around. Thank you very much. Not bad. Thank you very much. Folks. That's the end of the sprint for the night. Thank you all for playing, and we will do this again sometime once I can get these fellers over here to stop arguing. I think we could do it next Thursday. Arguing. I got one vote. No, next Thursday we're having a, a special guest speaker on from the Ham Stop. Oh, right, right. The maker of the cool. Skyhook. Oh, you did the video on that the other day. Oh, that I got to cool. plug Frank, Wilderness Frank. He's getting ready to do his... His Tradio, it is a amateur radio uh, swap exchange. Oh, nice. And he's on Ham Radio Wilderness with Frank. Check him out. Did he sign the rider and pay the fees for that? He, he did. Yes. Frank, drop a link. Okay. Drop a link, Frank. We're sending him a bill now. The bill arguments were the great, road. Richard. Yes, yes. We have lots of arguments. <laughs> they weren't arguments. They were discussions. Which was discussions. Actual discussions. documentation. <laughs> right. All right. There's the moto man. Check him out. Thank you all. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Right. We'll see y'all later. Steve, you got the button. There you go. Done.